Hello everyone, this is Timon. I continue to cast various things from faux lava or more precisely from molten copper. Last time you like uh, you liked the comparison between the aluminum sword and the copper one. And as it turned out, the copper sword defeated the aluminum one, slicing it in half. Yes, most comments suggested making something more serious, namely an axe. Yes, I listened to you and hopefully you'll give it a like. And please subscribe as well. For the axe, a lot of position is shank, catch a lot of copper is needed. A lot, and it's very expensive. I will also need a mold to cast something resembling an axe. Uh, to go out the party, shinte. I will make it out of cardboard, yes, which will serve as a template for us to cut out the same one later, only this time from foam. Amita, da ta mesata. Perfect! In principle, it turned out uh, quite well. Uh, the only problem is that if you start cutting the foam with a knife, no, it might crumble. That's why I bought this thing. Yes, guys, it's an electric knife for cutting foam. Uh, I think it will cut perfectly along the lines. Initially, I decided to cut away from the line to understand how it works. Okay. And let me tell you, it cuts like butter. Just perfectly. The coolest thing is that you can even smooth the edges with it if you cut something further away. Just run it alongside and the foam melts away. And, and here's what I ended up with. What do you think? It's the perfect Viking axe, am I worried? Yeah. You put like a person that can have the axe, in my opinion. Yes. Like it if you agree. If there are a lot of likes, the next video will be based on your comments. Write what else I should melt. Now that I can make my own templates to melt anything. Uh, sorry, but uh, we've prepared the sand mixture that I'm going to melt, and now it's time to apply the axe and press out the shape. It's a bit tight, of course, by the way. I'm glad I used dense foam. Uh, the sand is very hard to press out. Yes, let's put in a little more effort. Oh, it seems like it's all done. Let's remove it carefully. Cool. Yeah, it turned out exactly like the Viking ones. If you appreciated it too, give it a like. I want to know who else liked it. So, the blank is ready, and now we need to melt the copper. I think for such an axe, a lot of copper will be needed. 7 or 8 kilograms at least. After all, we spent more than 3 kilograms even on a sword. So we started our furnace, and I began melting the copper. But we continue. Uh, to melt copper into a liquid state, you need, uh, uh, you need the temperature of at least 1200 degrees. Uh, I am most worried about having enough copper, as I decided to keep the sword from the previous video. Uh, I am already anticipating holding this axe. Oh, it will probably be powerful. I will need to test its strength and might by chopping something cool, for example a helmet on a head. And as always Grisha will help us with this. Uh, okay, let's get started. And as always we put on our fireproof protection. Uh, safety first after all, uh, we will pour from a distance. And uh, since copper is heavy, I will also use a stand. So, everything is ready. Uh, the copper has melted, it's bubbling. Let's turn off our furnaces and carefully take it out. Uh, Oh, heavy. There are more than seven kilograms here and we are starting. Wow, 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 did you see that bright red copper? Oh yes, the crucible was very heavy. The poker bent under the weight of the copper. I had to walk from a distance with support. Uh, of course, it spilled a little, but it's not critical. The most important thing is that I had enough liquid copper, just the right amount, perfectly. Uh, but we still managed to do it. Uh, no, this is a real Viking axe. Uh, this almost, it is, of course, still Latiano, still rough, but we need to smooth out all the irregularities, and of course, I sharpen it. Yes, think about it. We can easily take the extra pieces. Yes, guys, the copper has cooled and let's cool it completely now. Carefully take it out. Whoo, it's heavy. Mm -hmm. He sit here. And now from the other side. See this end after the copper? It burned out completely. Ah, cool. And the copper also tinted it a bit green. This copper reacted with the silicone. Awesome. Here's what we got. Yes, it's super heavy, but it's really cool. When you swing it, you can feel its power. Now I want to sharpen it and test its strength. We'll try to chop something with this axe. And I also want to check if it can pierce a helmet or something like that. Let's go test everything.
it turned out to be quite difficult to sharpen the copper axe. Yes, the axe handle is large and it takes a long time. Also, it's heavy and my hands and back get very tired. I hope you will like it as I really made an effort. And write a comment on what else to cast and from which metal. Or oh, maybe make something. Yeah, that the best comments will be featured in the video. Well, we did our best, and in a whole hour, we managed to drag it in. Yes, it turned out pretty cool. These patterns turned out to be so interesting. And on the other side, it's red, almost like it's gilded. There are some small defects and even a little hole in the handle. Ochiata and Ishiata shine this there. But I don't think it will prevent it from chopping anything there, eh? Nah, additionally, we sharpened it to a fine edge, see? Now, the camera, of course, doesn't capture this, but believe me, it's sharp, that cap. Copper is actually a soft metal and sharpens easily. All right, as let's just check it though. And on Nile demonstrated then on a watermelon. If it's not sharp, it will just break it or make a hole in it. But if it's sharp, it should slice it cleanly. Perfect, perfect. All right, take your name. Hit. Cool. But did you see that? Yeah, of course, walnut cherry and watermelon is soft, but you can clearly see how it was sliced neatly. It's especially noticeable in slow motion. I didn't forge it just for a watermelon, so I want to demonstrate its power on something more serious. How do you think can a viking axe cut through a helmet? And as always, our tester Grisha will help us with that. His improvised helmet is like a construction hard hat. Well, it is what it is. I think it will still need strength to split even that. By the way, let's place bets on who will win, Grisha or the axe. If you're cheering for Grisha, write in the comments at hashtag Grisha Life. If you're cheering for the axe, a cartoon to shoot the shashen to brack character, write hashtag axe comet task that edit cool but not text go. Just don't pick. So let's begin. Oh Grisha. No and no! Yes, yes, let's go. Oh, crazy. Did you see that? Grisha, are you alive? Yes, that turned out sweet for you. Yes, let's take off the helmet. Oh, 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 wow. So, what is that? Grisha's skull became wavy. The, there are even two dents in it. And I think uh, the helmet didn't protect him at all. It most likely bent under the blows and then just ricocheted. Oh yes, this spot, this crack, and that's plastic of course, and it was quite hard to break, but it's flexible. Plus Grisha is also flexible. The... And short, I think as a... I think the axe turned out to be powerful. If you want 100,000 likes and I'll make the same axe, only out of aluminum, then we'll find out its strength and test them in battle. I think it would be cool. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see it, and click the bell to make sure you don't miss it and be the first. That's all guys, good luck and bye bye. Bye,